First question, y is directly proportional to x. y equals 12 when x equals 3. Calculate y when x equals 5. So we write this down, y is equal to k, that's the constant of proportionality, times x. So when y is equal to 12, x is equal to 3 that x is equal to 3. So here we go. k, something times 3, give me 12. Well, k is equal to 4. So our formula is written like this. y is equal to, do we know the value of k? Well, yes, we do now. It's right here. It's 4 x. So now we can go ahead and work at the value of y. y is equal to 4 times replace the x, replace the x with 5. 4 times 5 is 20, so y is equal to 20. Right, let's do the next question. This one here. y is directly proportional to the square of x, x squared. All right, this is the information that's given to us. We need to work at the value of y when x equals 4. So now we write this down, y is equal to k x squared. We need to find the value of k using the information that's given to us. So we have y is equal to 27. K don't, the k is, well, trying to find out what it is. And the x is equal to 3. So it's going to be times 3 squared. Well, that's going to be 27 is equal to k times 3 squared is 9. So k, here we go, something, something times 9 to 27. It's 3. 3 times 9 is 27. So our formula is y is equal to, well, we know the value of k now, it's 3 x squared. Now let's try and answer the question. We're trying to work at the value of y where x is equal to 4. So y is equal to 3 times 4 squared. Well, 4 squared, 4 squared is... 16. 16 times 3 is 48. So that's the answer there. And let's deal with the last question now. Once again, y is directly proportional to x squared. So we write y is equal to k x squared. We need to find the value of k using the information that's given to us. So y is 32 k is, don't know what it is, but we're going to find out, and x is given as 4. It's going to be 4 squared. So k is equal to, well, something times 16 to give me 32 uh, is 2. So our formula is y is equal to, we know, what, we know the value of k now, it's 2, x squared. So we can go ahead now and work at the value of x given the value of y is equal to 50. So y is 50 this time. All right, they've given us the value of y. We need to work backwards to get the value of x. Is equal to 2x squared. All right, to get rid of times by 2, you need to divide by 2. What have you done on this side? Do on the other side. 50 divided by 2 is 25. That leaves you with x squared. Right, something squared to give me 25. Well, x is equal to 5 because 5 squared gives me 25. So that's our answer there. x is equal to 5.